Globally, the agricultural sector produces huge amounts of waste water, containing organic biomass material which naturally produces vast amounts of methane as it breaks down, and pollutes local watercourses. Methane gas, a highly potent greenhouse gas, is typically 21 times more damaging than CO2 and represents about 18% of the world's man-made greenhouse gas emissions. The production of ethanol and starch from cassava creates large amounts of this wastewater, rich in organic material, which can be a source of renewable energy, as well as produce other useful byproducts. And treatment of this wastewater is now economically viable, given increasing regulatory restrictions and incentives to create renewable energy and carbon credits. The process of treating this waste water from ethanol factories is basically a means of containing the biological process that would happen anyway. Put simply, what we did is we contain the wastewater and provide an optimum working condition for the bacteria to perform its functions. It, you know, on the surface, this might sound simple, but it takes years of trial and error to develop an economically and technically viable system. Syndicatum is developing its pilot biogas to energy project in the Lampung province of Sumatra, Indonesia. The project is a project biogas that uh, mengolah air limbah dari pabrik etanol tersebut menuju ke pengolahan tersebut. Air limbah itu akan dikirim ke mix tank dan selanjutnya akan diolah ke biodigester. Dari biodigester akan dikirim lagi ke mix settling pond dan selanjutnya di settling kembali lagi ke mixing tank. Uh, untuk pekerjaan sipil saat ini 90% progresnya dan selanjutnya akan di lining dan di cover. Proyek ini menghasilkan biogas dan membutuhkan waktu kurang lebih sekitar 30 hari untuk menghasilkan biogas dan biogas tersebut akan dipakai ke endoetanol untuk menggerakkan boiler dan boiler tersebut akan menghasilkan sekitar 3 megawatt listrik yang akan dipakai untuk pengoperasian pabrik etanol tersebut. Asia produces 77 million tons of cassava and Indonesia produces 26% of this making it the second largest producer of cassava in Asia next to Thailand. The value of PT biogas stretches well beyond the strong economics of the projects. Increased use of biogas will reduce reliance on fossil fuels, a very important goal for the government of Indonesia, who are looking to install 6.7 gigawatts of renewable energy capacity in the next 15 years. There are currently more than 70 ethanol and starch plants with large enough capacity to benefit from a partnership Clean energy is a very important sector for the government of Indonesia. We've had a lot of interest. We've got seven projects in the pipeline. And this still only represents about 10% of the potential in the Lampung area. What we've done is assembled the best professionals drawn from waste and power generation and together they will position PT Biogas as a leader in this sector in Indonesia.